Hi everyone, it's Liz, Certified Cancer Exercise Trainer from the Tucson Cancer Conquerors, and we're here today to do Total Body Stretch. Today is just part one, and that's stretching everything from our waist on up. Did you know that you really need to stretch 15 to 20 minutes each day? Poor posture, bad body mechanics, leaning over our keyboards or slouching in our beds reading a good book can all lead to muscle imbalances, which can give us headaches, neck pain, back pain, and even make us more prone to injury. If you haven't been stretching because you're afraid, maybe you have issues with lymphedema, or maybe you've had radiation therapy or surgery that's left you with scarring that limits your range of motion, it's even more important for you to stretch. Stretching tight muscles can be uncomfortable, but it should not be painful. So listen to your body, know what your limitations are, but you're going to have to challenge yourself, especially if you have limited range of motion. Be gentle and slow with your stretches. We're also going to work on keeping our spine aligned. A lot of us have osteoporosis issues, either from chemotherapy or estrogen blockers or just from getting old. So be kind to your spine, slow stretches, listen to your body. We're going to start off today with just a postural assessment. And what I want you to do is put your feet shoulder width apart and just relax with your arms by your side. I want you to look down and look at where your palms are facing. You'll notice mine are facing the front of my thighs. That is because I have bad posture. So I need to tighten my abs, which lifts my rib cage. I need to get my shoulders back where they belong. And instead of my head in a forward position, which we call vulture neck, it needs to be pushed back so that my ears are over my shoulders. So now my palms are facing the outside of my thighs. So just be mindful of your position and let's go ahead and get ready to do some stretching. It's great if you have your TheraBand. If you don't, you can still do all the stretches and it's nice if you have a chair while we do the next stretches. We're going to actually start out with what we call dynamic stretching and that's actually the safest stretching to do when you have cold muscles. Dynamic stretching is just stretching through movement. So we're going to start off with our palms facing our sides. We're gonna rotate our hands outward and we're gonna lift way up tall, hands, palms facing each other. It's really important right now for you to assess your posture. Your shoulders should not be up around your ears like mine are, so push your shoulders down. We do this by taking our shoulder blades, our scapula and squeezing them to bring our shoulders down. So shoulders down. Also, if you bend your arms, they should not be in front of your face. So open that stretch so when you bend your arms, they're on the top of your head. What I don't want you to do is open the stretch by leaning back. So stay in a good posture and stretch your arms back and up. So palms are facing each other. Now we're going to turn our palms outwards and stretch nice and wide all the way back down. Let's do that again. Palms out, all the way up overhead, way up high. Turn your hands out and all the way back around. Let's do this one more time. Palms all the way up. And this time we're going to face our hands forward and we're going to do a static stretch, which means a sustained hold. So grab your forearm, not your wrist joint, and gently lift up on that arm. And then we're going to just tip ever so slightly to the side by pulling in an upward direction on that arm. This is going to stretch our triceps, our latissimus, and our side muscles, which are called our obliques. <laughs> nice big stretch. Let's come back up. Palms pointed out, nice and wide all the way around. We're going to come back up again, all the way, open your chest, palms together, now facing forward, reach the other forearm, gently lift on that arm, and then a gentle stretch to the side. Again, stretching that whole side, our triceps, our lats, and our obliques. Back up, palms out, all the way around. We're gonna do some shoulder rotations, so hands up. I know you can't see my hands, but if I turned it the other way, you couldn't see the rest of me. Palms facing down, you're gonna to have to trust me on this one. 
What we're going to do is we're going to rotate our palms facing up. So we'll go at this angle. Hands should not be forward. They should be in alignment with your body. And we're going to turn our palms all the way down, but this time we're going to point them backwards. So face your palms to the back and then back up again. Keeping ourselves in a nice straight line, palms back down to the back. One more time, palms up. And one more time again, palms to the back. Now we're gonna do some shoulder rotations. Actually, we just did shoulder rotations. We're going to do some shoulder rolls. So I want the backs of your hands to come together. I want you to lift your shoulders, spread your elbows, open your chest, and come all the way back to start. Palms together, lift your shoulders, wide elbows, all the way back to start. Let's do two more of those. Shoulders up, elbows wide, all the way back, and one more. Shoulders up, elbows wide, all the way back. Now we need to do the reverse. <laughs> elbows up, shoulders, elbows forward, backs of our palms together, and do it again. Wide, forward, down, wide, forward. Let's do one more. Wide, forward, and down. Excellent. Let's grab our TheraBands. What I'd like you to do, I'll step back so you can see more of me. What I'd like you to do is put your band so that it's about hip distance apart. If you don't have a band, don't worry, you can still do this exercise. We're gonna start out by pushing the band forward, and I mean pushing it forward. I don't want you to lean, but I want you to just take your shoulders and push the band forward. Then we're going to go straight up, gently pulling on the band, and then we're gonna to need to pull on the band as we come behind our backs. Down to our hips, back out into a T, all the way up and down. Let's do that again. A little tension on the band, push our shoulders forward, all the way up, again, pushing to the sky, but not doing this, shoulders down, pushing to the sky, out wide, come all the way back. And let's go forward again. If you can't do this, that's okay, but this is something to work up to. Especially if you've had mastectomies, people have protected that surgical site, and for years later, they haven't stretched those muscles. Let's go all the way back up. This time, we're gonna put one hand up beside our head, and the other one's going to come out at 90 degrees. And then we're going to bend the top arm 90 degrees behind our head, and pull the band down behind our thigh, and then gently pull down to give us that good stretch again. Let's come back up, all the way up, both hands, other arm against our head, the other one parallel to the floor. We're going to bend that top arm behind our head and gently pull that band down behind our thigh and just to the side again and hold that for just a couple of seconds. And let's come back up. Excellent. Keep your band handy. We're just gonna set it aside. And we're gonna grab our chair. And we're gonna work on stretching our neck. So the first thing that we wanna do is to go ahead and do some dynamic, which are movement stretches. You can actually grab onto the chair and hold it underneath and pull your shoulders down, which means pulling your elbows to the back. This is going to help stretch these muscles. So we're just gently going to tip our head to one side, not lifting that shoulder, keeping those shoulders down. And let's go back center and let's tip to the other side and go back center. Let's do two more of those. We're just gonna stretch our neck in one plane at a time. Our necks can be pretty sensitive and we don't wanna roll our neck around and back center. So now we're going to stretch our flexors so when we flex our neck, we go this way. So to stretch the flexors, we need to go this way. We need to extend our neck 
to stretch the muscles in the front. So gently back and gently forward. And as we go forward, pull your shoulders back and your elbows down, feeling that stretch in the back of your neck. One more time, gently up. If you want more of a stretch, stretch your bottom lip over your top one. And gently back to center. So we mentioned before that we want your ear over your shoulder. We don't want a vulture neck or rounded shoulders. Our heads weigh about 10 pounds, depending on who you are, maybe 14 pounds. So while they're sitting on your neck, your neck and your back have to hold up 10 pounds. If you tip your head forward 30 degrees, your head becomes 40 pounds. So be mindful of where your head is when you're texting on your phone or working on your computer. Abs tight, shoulders back, head in good alignment. So we're going to start out by stretching the muscles in the back of our neck, which are the ones that take the biggest hit when our heads are forward. So I want you to, instead of folding your fingers this way, I want you to put the back of your hands together, interlace your fingers, and then use this as a cradle for your neck. So bring it around the back, cradle your fingers around your neck, gently put your thumbs along the side of your neck, and push your palms against your skull just above your ears. So we don't want our shoulders hunched up, so push your shoulders down, bring your arms forward, and squeezing with your palms, gently lift up on the back of your skull. I don't want you to tip your head forward like this. That's too much pressure on your spine. This is a gentle lift, slightly forward, elbows forward, shoulders down. And let's hold that for five, four, three, two, and one. Keep your hands here, but open your arms and cradle your head as you do a neck extension. Don't hyperextend your neck, but just let your head rest in your hands. We're going to do one more of those. So head back in alignment. Make sure you've got your, your fingers nice and around the back of your neck and your palms pushed above your ears. The work here is your palms pushing on your head. So shoulders down, elbows forward, gentle lift with our palms on the back of our skull with a gentle tip forward for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax, keep your fingers back, and gently drop your head into your hands, stretching out the front of your neck, which are your neck flexors. Open your elbows wide. Good, go ahead and bring your hands down. This next stretch, I do not want you to pull on your head, I just want you to rest your hand on the side of your head. So take one hand, put it underneath the seat, and I want you to lock that arm down in that low position. The other hand's going to gently rest on the side of your head, maybe split your fingers around your ear, and just gently drop your ear to the shoulder, letting the weight of your arm stretch these neck extenders. Do not pull on your head, and if things are painful, let up. You just should feel a nice stretch there. And then we're gonna stretch those neck extensors even more by reaching around the back of our head and putting our chin to our shoulder and just a gentle lift on the skull, very gentle, just the weight of your arm. And then let's come back to our original position. And on this one, we're gonna gently rotate our head back, the hand goes on the forehead, Gently rotate it back, tipping your chin to the sky, stretching out these front neck flexors, which is called your sternocleidomastoid. We need to stretch this muscle because this is our lane changing muscle. And back up to a normal position. As this muscle shortens, it allows us to turn our head different directions. So we're symmetrical beings, let's do the other side. So grab underneath the chair so that you can keep the shoulder low. Gently just rest your hand, maybe split your fingers over your ear, and stay in the lateral plane, which means you're in between a front board and a back board. We're not going forward or backwards. And just ever so gently. Good. Now we're gonna reach around the back, tipping our chin to the shoulder. And back to neutral again. 
These are nice stretches you can do just watching TV. And on this one, hand comes to the forehead. Do not pull on it. Gently lift the head and turn the chin to the sky. Great, let's just go ahead and do a couple shoulder rolls to get that loosened up. Okay, we're going to work on our shoulders next. Our shoulders are one of our most ingenious joints. We've got our shoulder joint, which is made out of our humerus bone, and there's a head on the top of that humerus bone. And in the back, our shoulder blades or our scapulas has a place for that shoulder bone to sit. So our shoulders can move forward, backward, up and down and around. It's one of the most mobile joints we have. It's also the most unstable. So it's important not to have imbalances in our shoulders for us to stretch. So the first stretch we're gonna start off is regular finger interlacing. We're just gonna put it the top, back of our head, our abs are tight, our shoulders are down, and we're just going to open our shoulders. We're not leaning back, we're just pushing our elbows back. Nice and strong. And we'll go ahead and relax that, relax the neck for a minute. Let's do that again. Let's open up. These are all the muscles that make us bent over and hunched. Squeeze the back muscles down and back. Open up the elbows. Great, go ahead and relax. I'm gonna stand up just so you can see me. You can stay seated. So from your position, we're going to make a Y. So palms facing forward, hands in a Y. Again, remember, if you're folding your hands in front of your face, you need to open up that Y. So Y and back into a W. Stretch those shoulder blades, squeeze those shoulder blades together with your back muscles. Then we're just going to angle our elbows into our sides and drop our hands so it looks like mirror image of L's. Then we're gonna rotate our palms to the sky and you're gonna feel like somebody's pulling on your thumbs. Open your chest. So elbows stay at your side, but thumbs are to the back. Then face your palms forward again, and then let's push out into a T. Open your chest again, big and wide, and bring it down. Let's do that again, all the way up in our Y and into a W, hold it there, open your chest, and into an L, palms up. Feel like someone's grabbing your thumbs from behind and pulling on them, rotating our chest open, and out into a Y, into a T. All right, big stretch up and down. So our shoulder moves all over, but our elbow is just a hinge joint. So we have flexors, which flex our arm, which is the bicep side, and extensors, which is the tricep side. So we're going to start off by stretching our extensors. So first is our tricep. So we're going to reach way up high, and we're going to drop our fingers down behind our back, and we're going to reach over and gently grab the elbow and give a slight pull. I'm gonna turn around so you can see what that looks like. Good. And we're gonna drop that down. And on the same arm, this is the extensor for here, but we also have something that extends our wrists, all these muscles in the forearm. So when our extensors are tight, you can actually get pain on the outside or lateral part of your elbow called tennis elbow. So if you have tennis elbow, you need to be stretching your extensors. So let's go ahead and let's stretch the muscles in the back of our arm that extend our wrist. And we do that by grabbing our hand and we bend our wrist down. So the arm is straight and gently flex the wrist to stretch out all these muscles in the back of the arm. Great, let's do the other side. Reach up. Crawl your fingers down your back, grab the elbow, pick up, and gently lift that elbow. 
good, stretching that extensor back up. And let's bring the arm forward. And we want to stretch these forearm muscles that extend the wrist. So we're going to grab the hand. We're going to lock the arm straight. And we're just going to flex the wrist down to stretch those muscles. Great. Let's finish stretching out the back of the shoulder. We're going to take this arm all the way across. We do this one in TCC. Just take your hand and gently push that shoulder to get a good stretch in the back of the shoulder, which, are your, which is your deltoid muscle. Great, let's do the other side. Swing it across and gently. We're not pushing on the joint, we're pushing above the joint on the upper arm to stretch. Okay, we need to stretch our flexors, which are the muscles on the front side. And we can accomplish that with one stretch. So we're going to extend our hand out just like we did for the extensors. We're just going to flip it over. We're going to gently grab our hand. We're going to make sure our arm is locked so we can stretch our biceps. And we're gently going to pull the hand towards the elbow. Nice and relaxed. Let's do the other side. It's important to flex the extenders, to stretch the extenders and the flexors because chronic movement and inflammation can actually give you a syndrome called carpal tunnel syndrome. So we don't want those forearm muscles to be tight. So we're extending the hand back, stretching out all these muscles that are responsible for flexion. Perfect. We're gonna take our hands now and interlace them with our fingers together. And we're actually gonna push our hands out towards us. So pushing our back forward, stretching our hands, stretching our fingers. Great, go ahead and relax your hands. I'm gonna move my stool out of the way. Let's go ahead and stand up. We're gonna do one more big stretch. I do have some stretches I can show you when I see you guys in person using poles and door jams, but those are advanced stretches and until I feel comfortable that you're pretty flexible with what we're doing, we can do that when we meet each, meet each other again. So let's go ahead. We're going to take a big reach up to the sky like we did before. Remember our shoulders are down, our hands are not in front of our face, they're over our head. Stretch our fingers really wide. They've been working really hard while we've been home. We're going to go ahead and we're going to push our hands forward, stretching our back, and we're going to get into a squat. So when you look down, you should be able to see your feet. If you see your knees, you're not in the correct position. So from the side, if you can't see your feet, it means your knees are forward. What we need you to do is get back on your heels and sit back into the squat. So we're pushing forward, stretching our fingers, making a fist, turning those up, and opening our chest. Open, open, open. Let's open our hands, reach forward, reach all the way wide behind you, interlace your fingers together, turn your elbows in and your shoulders out, and we're going to forward fold just at the waist, not at the waist, just at the hips. We want to keep our spines aligned. Let's drop our hands. Let's slowly come back up. Let's do that one more time. All the way up, all the way up. Palms forward, open our fingers wide. Push your hands forward to stretch your back. Let's get into a squat and push those hands even more forward. Let's make some fists. Let's turn them up. Let's open our chest. Let's reach around behind us, interlace our fingers, roll the elbows in, the shoulders out, abs are tight. We're gonna fold from the hips, not the waist, lifting our arms. Drop your hands again, slowly come up, and one more stretch, which is my favorite, is for our backs. We're gonna cross one arm, above and one arm below. We're going to reach up and grab our shoulders and push our elbows forward, stretching our backs. Stretching our backs forward fold from the hips again. 
Drop your hands, slowly come up. And let's do that one more time. And give yourselves a hug, love yourself. Good job, everybody. Nice job, 25 minutes of stretching. If you can make some time to do that at least a couple times a week, you're really going to improve your range of motion. We'll see you back for part two when we do lower body. Take care, miss everyone. Bye-bye.